All right, so I just got in here to Florida from New York. Quick little trip to uh, check out some places, but got this fancy little rental car, the Tucson right here. Do a quick little road trip, say what's up to Blaze. He's got a house close by to the track, so we're gonna go say what's up to him and get a couple riding clips of him today. Find this piece of wood too. Right. It's like some driftwood. Christian Mingle. <laughs> no idea. What an L job site. Heading out. It's pretty cool to see Blaze ride. I haven't seen him in months. We've got like two hours of training in. Now we're heading to get lunch and we'll wrap up the day here. But this place is pretty sweet. All right, like that, 70 and sunny, back to New York. It's like 15 degrees outside right now, beautiful New York. Been down to negative degrees for the past couple days. So I haven't really been out in the garage because this heater can't really keep up with how cold it is. Got the 110 torn down, the CR torn down everywhere. So the 110 build video should be out next week. But quickly before we get into the rest of the video, once again, I wanna thank Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring this video. So if you haven't heard of Onyx Off-Road, I'll pull up the app right here. So Onyx Off-Road allows you to find new trails near you, new riding spots, everybody likes a new riding spot. So on their app, right here you can kind of zoom around wherever you're located and you can see the little pinpoints on trails that you can go explore so taking a look in the app and moving around I can kind of pinpoint what spot I want to find in spirit to me still wanting to be in Florida in the warmer weather so I'll pick a spot right here on the map right by Orlando the app allows you to pick those trails see pictures from people that have actually been there gives you a little rundown kind of a description of the trails what to expect what you're gonna get into so you can prepare for it along with showing the weather and everything like that if you guys are on a road trip and you're just south through. So say you pinpoint this one trail, then you can see all the trails surrounding there. The app is actually really cool and Onyx Off-Road also offers a couple different features if you're not just trying to find trails to ride. If you don't have service on your phone, they have offline maps and navigation so you don't have to worry if you don't have cell service. On the app, it allows you to see public land and boundaries so you can kind of know where you're allowed to camp. Property line of somebody's land so you're making sure you're not on their land and you're just on the marked Onyx Off-Road trails that somebody's been to. But like I said, the app itself has a ton of different features aside from just the ride aspect and finding new trails. If you're interested to save a little bit of money, you can use my discount code TYLER20 for 20% off your membership on Onyx Off-Road. Thank you to Onyx for sponsoring this video, and I think we're gonna jump into a video I filmed a couple months ago that never actually got uploaded. Back when I had the side-by-side, -side. a lot of you probably assume I still have it, but I actually sold it like a couple months ago. So enjoy this little side-by-side -side video. Now we're doing the Razor versus the Raptor. I figured I might as well do this video before I sell this thing. Do you buy a Raptor? Or do you buy a razor? Post in the comments what you think is gonna win. We've got my uh, safety triangle that makes this thing legal for the road. Hopefully the cops don't come today. This place got overgrown so quick. The grass is halfway up the razor right now. For all the guys that say you don't take your Raptor off road. Yeah, you went in that mud. I'm like, oh, he's stuck. Give me more work to wash this thing. So what I'm thinking.
thinking I'm gonna go grab the cone, put it down there, and then we're gonna start here. Trying to come back here to uh, loop back it? around. Because I, can, like, I, I can barely reach the pedals right now. <laughs> I'm not very, so not very tight. tall. <laughs> And you got the seat work. Yeah, loosen it up. You could probably move the seat back a bit. Well, it would be less tight if you move it back. But I so can't we don't. reach the pedal. It's a stretch for me too, and I'm tall. Aren't the best tires for this, but we're pretty much on par with the Raptor tires, I'd say, as far as tread. They actually match perfectly. I hate that I'm getting rid of this thing, but I just don't use it. It looks so cool driving down the road. I'm like, oh, this thing is sick. If you get one, I'll keep it. I just don't have anybody to ride with. So once we crest over the hill, you're gonna be on the brakes. The phone will be right here, and then loop around shoot back to where we started sure you want me to like try oh yeah full throttle four-wheel drive i don't really want to replace a windshield or fix the paint oh i love this thing all right let's do this let's see uh let's see what's fast it might be a close race we'll see pop this thing in baja mode four wheel ready to go I couldn't see anything coming back. It might just be a straight race because there's no way we can rip back full speed. It's so dusty. I didn't even see her when I came back. There's no way we're racing back. No. no way we're racing back. No. It was impossible. I should probably. Mike is ripping right now. Looks so sick. He's loving it. <laughs> Think. I thought I was gonna hit you. It was close. I'm like, I'm staying in it. I'm staying in it. <laughs> you were, you kept coming closer, closer. I'm like, oh, he'll stop. I'm glad he didn't think I was gonna stop, and then we both think that one of us is gonna stop and then hit each other. It'd help if I took traction control off. Maybe that's why it wasn't fully. Didn't even think about that. Feels like I'm driving the razor, but more comfortable. Not getting dirty. I don't think it's much of a race. Probably should have known better to even try this. Fun nonetheless. And how's the R over? Raptor. Save a little money too.
Mike, I know why I didn't beat you. I realized towards the end, yeah, didn't turn it. traction control off. So therefore, I probably would have beaten you. So for my sake, we'll just call it even race. It was even. It was a tie. Tie. Where are your laces, buddy? I got a dog. <laughs> Throw a like in this video, share, run up the comments so maybe we can afford to buy Mike new shoes. <laughs> Please, for Mike, for Mike, throw a like on this video. We'll uh, get to it, start washing these things. So I'm sure the comments say otherwise already. Uh, I had fun ripping around there. Felt literally like the RZR, but not getting dirty, AC on, and comfortable. Surprisingly, the suspension felt like as good as that over the bumps. Barely even got to wash this thing. A little rinse down, we're good. So we'll get these things cleaned up and uh, maybe go rip e-bikes around for a little bit.